NASA links again at it. It's an next solo dive this morning. You know, this morning, you know, that early. Yeah, man, about after 8, you know. And, you know, besides, I come back at the same spot where I do the solo dive, the last solo dive. Come and try back for a little time. Why I never call nobody else? Just because the dive short, you know. Now have a lot of time and if I call anyone mood off go pick them up or so and that would just take up at least a whole hour at a time. So it would make sense to come and see again. So I just jump out quick quick. Yeah man and reach on the seaside yeah. Go do one little short dive this morning. So we can find. Previous dive in Long Bay Portland. Catch a nice amount of fish, but by the time I reach home and one I had left out of the whole string. You don't know, so that's a family thing, you know. Catch and give away all the time. Yeah, man. So, you know, I come back to see if I can find some fish, you know, again. Because I don't have nothing in the fridge. need food and the time I get busy and they seem nice. I don't get to dive as often and as long as I normally would. So, I have to come whenever I get the little time. So, hopefully, I can get some fish, you know, I can have, you know, to serve me. Yeah man, but whoever do as me say the sea beautiful my people. They look clear. Visibility is a, is a lot better than the last time I came here. Yeah man, so I walk down from the seaside, you know. You can see my suit up already. Yeah man, and the new wet suit again. He may help me put on me alone, but so I go, you know. I mean likewise, you may know, sweat. Mm -hmm. I get myself cool off, you know. And we'll see where we can find so I'll go down here so show you guys the visibility and thing. So this is what the visibility really look like. You know, look clear. And it look like the current tied up the sea too. Not a really good sign. Because if one river the right round there and if the river the have any dirty water come down, the current will carry up your soap on me. And again. I in a one bed, it's a lot of sun. So any in a the bed dirty, the whole like current will keep up the dirty water. From where I'm standing, it look like it clean and it look like the river clean also. So this is what the visibility look like my people. Yeah man, so hopefully I can find some nice fish this morning. Mm, hopefully. Nice this morning. So I will jump off you know must find something just as I predict early on the current is heading up the sea and in the harbor is dirty so all of the murk is heading up the sea as well you can see here it's very sandy and this was right at the drop off this was my first dive This is where I spear a snapper some time ago, but I saw nothing this time. And actually, at this spot, I got some of my greatest catch, my biggest mackerel, some huge barracuda and huge rainbow mackerel. I made a next job at a different section of the job off. You can see a few small jack was passing. I was checking a lot of fish live here. Gold teal, red belly, grunts and also fish swim by as well. Mackerel, barracudas, yellow tail snapper, blue runner mackerel but nothing. So I decide that I'm going to head up the sea. On my way, I saw a quab. I made a dive on it.
I could have speared this squab, but I hesitate on this one. You could see just barely swim away. I came across my first fish, a lion fish. I got my scissors with me, so I won't be passing these guys today. The next one was there, a smaller one. I made a jam with the spear after it. I gave this one a quick clip up with the scissors. The scissors make it so easy. So back on the hunt, I saw a few grunts here. I was trying to see if I could spear one, but they move in the rock. This one came out back, but it head out in the open. I didn't get a shot. The second fish that I got was this red belly, nice size one. This was a mutton snapper. I took a shot after this one, but I only got a graze. I saw that it went underneath a rock, so I made a second dive and check for it. I searched a little bit, but I didn't see the snapper. But I came across this gold tail. A nice one. A next red belly here. Some grunts is just beneath here as well. I saw them before I made the dive. So when I look over, the grunts was there and the red belly as well. Guns move in the rock, so I decide that I'm going to take the red belly. These were two parrot fish. The black one, I guess that one is a female, and the greener, blue color one is the male. I got no shot from them though. I saw a few grunts at this spot, so I made a dive and this spot have a little depth about 55 feet. You can see a few of them was out. I spooked those, but a few more came out. 
but this one didn't see me though so it's going on my stream See, it's a nice one. Grunt again here. I missed that one. And this area have a lot of grunts. So I dive after quite a few of them. This was a mountain snapper, nice size one. Was playing hide and seek with me at this hole. I didn't have a light with me to check for it in the hole. I made a few dive to try and lay away it. But each time I surfaced, that's when it came out back. I saw some grunts behind so I decided that I'm going to try and spear a few of them. So this was the grunt dive. You can see a, a nice school is here. I have to be real gentle with this sneak as one wrong move and I could spook all of them. I picked out one of the big ones. See the rest scattered. I stayed at the same location for about ten minutes and they came out back and I made a next dive. This time, they weren't coming in too close. They might look near from the camera, but they are a little distance away. And this gun is not a long range gun, so a long shot is not possible. They still have the fear in them from the first shot that I took. However do I left this spot and head down the sea because time was catching up. On the way down, I spear a next red belly. The tangle shooting line in the rock, you can see it's not a bad size one. On the way up I saw this barracuda, it heard the noise when I speared the red belly and came closer. I tried to start out the red belly quick so that I could reset the gun and get a shot. Which I did reset the gun 
but the barracuda wasn't coming in any closer you could see it there I try a few chicks, one of them is dropping the gun, you can see it, make after the gun. But by the time I got the gun to me, it started to swim away again. This one was just tempting me. You can see it here again. It won't let me get in range. I tried to attack it with the red belly by throwing the fish towards it, but it wasn't taking the bait. I tried the jack gun again, it came in close, same scenario, went for the gun, it move off. At this time, I lost interest in it, but it was still there, it, it, it was still in the open water. I head back to the grunts, because I saw some just beneath. You can see them here swimming around. I was lay waiting one of the big ones. I could have speared one of those ones. But there were bigger ones there. You can see this one came out, so I took it. While I had the gun and the spear, there goes the barracuda again. It was on the surface, staring down like it was looking at something. You could see it there. Still no chance. When I move towards it, it just head off. So I head back to the Japa here you now. And this is the closest point to the exit. Made a dive. Look around over in the blue. Nothing. When I look to my left, I saw three mackerel. Make after the closest one, but the gun was too weak. You can see the spear just went underneath the fish. So that's it for the underwater segment. Back and land safe and sound. Yeah, man. A great great dive today you guys see come on get a few encounters with fish get one one barra encounter but it not enough I come close with my jaffy gun and by the time I dive down for the gun and gone off again I left him still you don't know I shoot two nice mutton snap on him tore off so he go so everybody water in the shallow clean out oh, there, yeah. sandy, 
As I said this morning, current go up you see. That's the whole thing. And the beer dirty. So it takes your ball of the dirty water. But in when I start coming, it come down back slightly. But at that time, you see little visibility. But I have to come in because I have to go somewhere, you know? So we get a nice catch, so this is where we find it. Yeah. So this is what I found today. One lionfish, three grown, three nice size one. We find three red belly too. Three nice one and two gold tail. Yeah man, two nice one too, you know. So you know I look for about six pound of fish or so. Cause they have size to them, you know. I look for about six pound of dinner size, you know. Nice. Give all your tanks. Yeah man. All your tanks. So I get them clean up you know, fast and quick because I don't want time to catch up on me at all. So I rub them out quick, quick, quick. I'm the man I clean fish fast enough. So I we'll start them out you know, quick, quick, quick and get a piece of string to string them up at the same time. You know? Fast clean up, you know? Here, face. Start with the, the, the gold tail and the red belly them first cars when they enjoy up the hard this tail you know. Make sure clean. Shut them off first. I'm going to show you how to weigh the fish and make you guys see the pound weight, you know? I don't know enough people who know how much, you know? I'm going to show you how to weigh them. I'm going to show you how to weigh them. Why am I people? I'm mean, getting borrowed, I don't mean, even know how I would manage. God knows. 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 God I remember you know my people, give the video a like because they'll be promote the video, you know, make YouTube share the video all over. So remember you know, give the video a like, alright? It's a fish line, you know? Look like bigger grunt of butter. I say feel away when I reach home way still because I don't have the time to, to tap away you know. move me I go move yeah, man, I reach home and see what I go on you know, nice catches today you know, people for the solo dive yeah. people, so I'm home now and this is my bucket my fish bucket yeah. With what I have inside yeah, the string and I will put up it and weigh it you know and get them in the fridge you know because I don't like to when them stay out you know and I will weigh them you know, and get them in the fridge nice string yeah. some more details find some hang them up nice you know yeah, man, some hang there I will get the scale and come back so the scale there turn it on make sure it's zero you know I'm gonna go hang his keel somewhere. We'll probably move the fish them first and then hang his keel with the fish them there. Guys, I bet you don't tell me how much you weigh. Look here. 
chew enough. Shout out to Pussy. Mmm, chew enough. And they look like they're way more. But they scale and gut still. So I mean, I'll probably look for about five, from about four and uh, sitting, you know. But, you know, good catch is the same here. Nice. Yeah. Lovely catch the same here, man. You yeah, know, half pound of fish. It look like it more still, but that is scale, say. Mmm. And if then they put on good size too, because uh, they are grunt here, yeah, have beer. Three quarter pound, you have to call it. Two half pound grunt, they are not three of them. No, no much bigger, no, no, I have a nice red belly there. Nice gold tail and lion fish. But this case is a three pound. Good catch. Good tanks, you know. Get them in the fridge, you know. So. I'm going to do a cook up on this video. So I'm going to make this one yeah, slip away, you know. To all who look out for your cook up, sorry about that. But no, tomorrow, definitely because I'm going to do a next dive um, probably tomorrow evening again. So I'll try to do a cook up. See me, you know. So, yeah, man. Sorry about the, the, the cook up fans, them. Sorry about that. Next time, alright. So, see you guys in the next video, alright?